thing <laughs> is we have no choice here and if we stick to case study it's actually okay i've actually personally talked to them because i've submitted a lot of case studies so can can we move on if you all are clear uh, okay go ahead move on so the the login so, the mrr dot login okay. dot register so basically to this website you click register create the account they send you the password and id and uh, then you go to the same website again nmrr you click you type in nmrr and this time you go to login so when you press login uh you will come to this page okay perfect so when you come to this page you put so in the email to, address yeah so they have to be careful that they need to go to their email first for for the confirmation of the yeah website. yeah yeah they'll okay. guide you what to do it'll ah. guide you what to do it's very simple you can do it in a few minutes after this you can create one very fast and uh, what about and, elvin and sri how do how do they do it then the same way I know they are here in the country. That's why I'm asking. Ah, uh, so that that's uh, for Elvin. I think shouldn't be an issue, but for Sri Utami, I'm not very sure because this is for Malaysia. Yes, Sri right. Utami, Sri Utami yeah. is the easiest because yeah. in in other countries they don't have this complexities. Correct. So I I do not know because you see, like if he was to like Elvin was to take a case in China, for example, um, yeah. So the 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 study is being conducted in China. So unless there's no way of showing that it is in China, then he just writes up a case because he has a IC. He has, still has a Malaysian IC. So I think it shouldn't be a problem. Sri Utami is the one. I'm not very sure how to do this. But I'm no sure worry, that Sri Otami will have a lesser complexity on applying that from Indonesia. Yeah, uh, okay. Malaysian okay. country very nice. One day approval citizenship and get <laughs> IC. <laughs> okay, now mind we won't go there now. <laughs> okay, so this can you all see this? Yes. Okay, so under uh oh, no not this one. You go to create sub new submission. Okay, so uh, this is the dashboard. So uh, you create new submission, but actually you have to update your profile. Hang on, ah. Uh. Okay, so my profile. You click on my profile. It bring you to the dashboard. This is the dashboard, yeah. So you go to my profile. Eight. Hey. Hilang. Uh, yeah, why like that? Because the NMRR website is having some issues, so you click. You can click on your the picture, okay? So you go to profile. Oh, it's still going here. Why ah? Oh, maybe I logged out. Is it? Okay. Uh, this one will say all these things lah. Okay, but basically, what is important in the profile is you have to have your full name, your email. Uh, okay. Oh, I love Mark. Okay, so name, your email, the user. Okay, this one you can. Update it later. So where you're working, um, this part is important. You have to have your CV, um, at least your CV, okay, uploaded inside. It's just a one-page CV, okay. It has to be there. Uh, I'll show you all while later. Your GCP, if you have it, this is good clinical practice certification. If you don't have it, it doesn't matter, okay. So just a CV first, okay? If later on the GCP, they make noise, it's okay. I think I'm sure a few of us here have GCPs. We can help to 
land our name there so that y'all can submit your proposals. Uh, okay, so after you do the profile, make sure the CV is uploaded, then you go to create new submission. By CV, Dr. Richard? Uh, curriculum. Uh, curriculum. Okay. CV lah. That means you kerja ke mana, uh, mana kerja ke mana, like that lah. Uh, so your profile lah, basically. Uh. So then you create here, submission type is investigator initiated research. You put in your research title. Okay, so your public title or uh, uh, in basically in simple words, you're going to describe, it doesn't have to be lengthy. It's a very short description of your case study. Okay, and then your research title abbreviation, you can put some cool abbreviation. Some acronym. Uh, yeah, some acronym or something like that. Protocol ID, leave it blank. Uh, research scope. Okay, this is very important. So this one, you will go to clinical. Basically, you click, click on clinical. Research type is, um, wait, if I remember correctly, uh, I think it's, yeah, observational. Because it's a case study. Okay. And then you create submission. You, can I just, okay, I just simply create something. Lah. You know, shall I? Okay, okay. I, I show you one of my submissions. Okay. So only those with IC can use this board? Yeah, because, I mean, you have to be... A Malaysian. Yeah, Malaysian. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so say this one. I don't know whether let me edit or not. That's a problem. Huh? Eh? Hey, uh, okay. Okay. Should look like the, ah. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see it. Okay, so this is uh, this is just a simple case study on asthma and depression. So you see, it's something very simple. So the research abbreviation is DAA. Research scope is clinical. Research type is observational. So then on the side here, so just now remember we filled it up, then you will put that create submission, right? That last icon there, you just click on that. Then it will take you to these, the next page where you'll have all these blue ticks here. It may not be blue at that time. It might be red or I can't remember what color it is. Okay, this one is because I filled up all the information. Okay, so in general information, see if you have to go to this thing here, you have to click on it. They're a bit slow lah. Okay, now mind. I think just now a general information. So this is uh, study information. So here you will put case study in case series. So if you see here, there's cohort, case control, and all that. So ours is case study or case series. Then uh, case study is one. Sampling method uh, is per yeah, purposive. Okay. Yeah, it's more appropriate. And, 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 and it is retrospective. And then you have to click save at each point. Okay. So this one is a case of asthma and depression. So it comes under non-communicable disease. Um, what did I put the womb case under? Oh, wait, ah, hang on. Ah, you can put under non-communicable disease because I mean if it, it doesn't really matter lah, this part as long as you fill it up. Alama, why did it go here? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, you just put something like basically don't leave this as not relevant. Don't write not relevant. You can either put a uh, non-communicable disease uh, or wait, uh, if you click on NCD, clinical practice, there's another one. Is this the page? Oh, no, no, no. There's another one where it actually goes into greater detail. So say if it's a diabetic food ulcer, you can go under endocrine because they want an ICD definition for the... Uh, case so it has to be by icd-11 so basically you just randomly if it's a palliative case 
you can still put it under non communicable disease and just create something it's okay okay whatever is available on the drop list just click on it <laughs> so that it's not blank so clinical practice then the research objective uh you can put uh, what were your research objectives so you can just type it up here so there's a few uh, things that you can describe there uh then the research description like i mentioned just now a brief summary of what the case is about uh research keyword so this one was on asthma mental health screening and depression so at each point please save um so in this one it is a uh, this is the one that i mentioned just now so for example if you put disease of the skin i notice um it actually doesn't mention womb <laughs> it womb actually isn't there you know so uh maybe you can put impairment of normal functioning or resulting from skin disease you know but that's the only thing that's closest that i could find if it was diabetes you can put it as endocrine and a complication of endocrine disease uh so it has to be these are all icd uh definitions uh of the disease uh, that you're studying so this one i have to go back and put the mental health if not it will it's So you can put the primary research area as family medicine it's okay because i mean that's the only one that's there other than primary care because if you see here there's no wound care management even if you put others it 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 doesn't appear like what like you can't type out what you you want to put there so because it's outpatient mostly so i think it should be okay right this one was mental health no no because i have to repair it okay move this order okay okay so the uh so primary care of research yeah there isn't anything else that you can consider general medicine i don't know whether you all want to put it on general medicine or surgery surgery i think still wound is not defined so you you can put anything la basically there okay so inclusion exclusion criteria uh there isn't any <laughs> because it's just one case right so this one you can leave it blank it's okay or you can put in the dustbin la because you don't need you don't don't need this okay now this one is important the study timeline uh, and expected date of study completion so you just put a duration there but you have to make sure that the dates that you put here corresponds to the bottom expected duration of study enrollment so if we see here it's about a month so it must be exactly a month so it cannot be more than a month or less than a month less may be possible but not more than a month you get me so it's 3 weeks here so this one must be expected duration study may be a month you can you can maximize it but you cannot actually have uh both these two dates and also the duration um actually uh, uh different okay so subject is still one uh gender involvement so depends what gender your case is put the age range sites de description it's one site in your own center recruitment status uh i think i put not yet started i think so you just save so primary what is this ah huh? ah so this one comes automatically primary case study okay ethical application it is not required okay so then you save study on uh, this one all on it okay so this is all study information now when you go to study site you will see this okay so your clinic name will appear there right so here you have to click on edit why this one cannot move i'm going to save okay oh this one is still okay this one is study site sorry sorry investigator sponsor okay so this one okay so this is this is where i i am not very sure because this one i did with my mo so i have the gcp so i i he is the principal investigator and i i am the sub investigator 
So if you see here, see under minor, okay. So I, this is the most important form, okay. So this is the most important form. This is what you have to submit. So if government, we have to submit it to our HOD. Uh, for private, is basically you. So you just sign the thing yourself. You are the boss. Okay, so um, download first, right? Yes. Download. Okay, but it, you have to have already uploaded your CV here. Oh. Hang on, ah. Yeah, this is this is the tricky part. It won't let you download, okay, until you have put your CV inside, and if you have your GCP, you put it in, okay. But so far, after the CV, it allows you to download, okay. It doesn't uh, necessarily you don't necessarily have to have the GCP. That's what I noticed lah, okay, because I did it for my MOs. Okay, so this is what it'll look like. So as for their case, it's just put principal investigator at the same. Yeah, so this this would be something that maybe in the profile or, or uh, that has to be submitted might you need to might have need to get a copy of this. I don't know why it's not opening. Ah, okay. So it's a pre-fill form. Oh, lama, sorry. Haha, <laughs> okay. All right. So it's got the research ID there. It creates one automatically. Okay. And uh, your details. And if that, this is, this is just for you. Okay. So if you've got a co-investigator, then that person's one will be separate. So if you see here, uh, sorry. Uh, so once you upload your CV, it will automatically allow you to download that. Yes. So you need your CV at least. Okay. 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 All right. So, uh, okay. Okay. So this is my name and this is the MO. So I said, uh, there is no, uh, GCP required. So only the CV needs to be uploaded. When you've uploaded it in your profile, it should automatically be there. But even if it doesn't, okay, even if it doesn't, uh, your name should be here, the study site. So principal investigator would be you. Uh, you just go down to CV, choose a file. So if it's on your desktop, just uh, upload it. And then uh, you can go ahead and print your IAHOD form, so which you will sign. And this is what we have to upload here. See, so if you see here, you have to print it out. Okay. And well, no need to print it. Lah. You can actually just do a uh, online signature and then you have to upload it up here. So this one, it, you download it first and then you will upload it. Choose a file. After filling it up, signing and everything like that, you upload it here. Okay, that's very, very important. If not, you will not get your approval. Okay. So, uh, that's it. So, corresponding person. So, whatever they've asked you here, you just put. So, principal investigator will be you. Main corresponding person will be you. Okay, self-funding fund, uh, source, self-funding and self-budget. Uh, primary uh, sponsor, okay, this one all whatever, like, it'll be your clinic. Organization or institution, so this one nothing, okay. All right, so the next uh, purpose, where was this? Huh? Okay, here. All right, so this one is nothing. I click something here. I know. This one is ethical approval. So research registration, that's all. Okay. So we do not need scientific review and ethical approval. Okay. We don't need a grant submission either. Okay. So ours is just research registration, save, and you can move on. That's the rest. That's done. So this page, nothing to do except the first one. Uh, So this one, the last one. Oh, 
sorry, I don't know why it's stuck. Okay, so the last one is confirmation of submission. So you click on this, okay, and then you will see this. Uh, I acknowledge that I've read all this blah, 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 and then you submit it. Okay, so you click on that and submit. So you must see all blue ticks, okay, and submit. All right, so once uh, the seven days, the day, I actually called them and I actually followed up with them. They actually gave it to me within I think eight days. Lah. Eight days. Okay. So you will get this green thing up here. Can you see registration approved and you're done? It will go okay? to their email address. So if you don't sorry? It will go to their email address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The approval the approval will come to your email. Okay. The approval will come to your email. So if you see here, uh there's also contact us. Okay, so if you all have any problems at any point that like you're not too sure, like why is it still red, it's not going to the blue tick, if there's something you're stuck with, you can go through with them, you can call them and you call this number. Not the 8205, the 8079. Okay, this is the NMRR Secretariat. So this is under contact us on the dashboard, the, 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 the menu page there, and you can call them. So th they can help to guide you. They are quite helpful. Okay. Right. So you can actually, if you already have a case, you can already do it. You're actually, you can do this in 10 minutes. Okay, because you don't have to write up it, you they don't require anything. It's a lot simpler now, but if it is a thesis, you will have to put in a lot more. Because if you uh, require ethics approval, then it there are more steps. So this one doesn't require, so it didn't open up other other branches of things to do. Okay, so th this is only a case study. Uh, thank, thank you very much, uh, thank you. Dr. Rachel. Thank you.